we just got to our hotel. Now we're gonna quickly eat something and then get ready to go for the day. All right, so they upgraded our room to give us a little bigger suite, which is so adorable. This is the bed. There's a TV, a little coffee station over there. And we have a little weird bench in the corner. A little spot for us to have breakfast every day, a little balcony. The bathroom's pretty cute too. Obviously like super small. The elevator is the smallest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh -huh. stop we're taking the metro to go to notre dame right now we have a little white blossom tree the metro station's actually so cute over here and it's been my dream to see this literally since I was a child. I've always wanted to come here. Too bad it burnt down. <laughs> the entire thing is a tent and scaffolding, but look, we're, we made it. We're at the Point R and this is like the Lovelock Bridge. They've switched out all the locks for glass gone. I'd love to know why though. Like, Do you think it's because it was heavy or what? I think so. Like that's it. Bridge. I'm up. I'm crushed to be honest. People have put stickers of locks <laughs> on the glass. This is what to expect if you come looking for the locks. Just back to the loop. Right now we're walking to go get coffee and croissants. We're gonna have a little tourist intermission and look at the garden next to the Louvre. We forgot to see the Luxembourg Gardens, but honestly these are so cute. So it'll it's gonna count. I got a cafe latte and Haley, what did you get? Cappuccino. We are going to give you guys a little update on our day so far. First we woke up and we slept in by accident, but then we decided we needed to come to our hotel kind of before our activities for the day. Oh, well, because it was already 12.30. By the time you're ready. <laughs> then we Ubered here, got settled in. It, the hotel's great. It's so weird being in like a different location because I really felt like we had our metro system down. We have a little window that opens up, which is so nice. And then we went to Notre Dame. The half of it was burned down, so it wasn't quite what we were well we knew it we knew that before we went and it was so great i still got to see it i got to see my childhood dream and then also the bridge was also really close nearby and they had a bunch of little picture shops along the way it's a really cute spot to walk then we went to a cafe got a latte and then we were gonna try to go to another bakery but they were sold out of everything since it's downpour raining we stopped and got a little girl dinner i've been eating these random <laughs> packs of chicken and apples as my girl dinner every single night we got a little sushi i've been wanting to try this this entire trip starbucks carrot cake so we came back to eat some snacks we're, oranges too. we're gonna go downstairs to the sauna and then we're gonna shower and we get ready for our night our plan for the night is really just to go for drinks maybe go to the eiffel tower again I think it's really good. I like it better if it didn't have like walnuts in it or something. Try a bit. I can't use your fork. Yeah, Haley's sick and dying, by the way. I'll grab my yogurt spoon. Mm, that's yeah. good. I'm gonna have two more bites of this and then we're gonna sauna. So Haley got jammed, <laughs> jammed in the metro terminal yesterday. <laughs> also, these are our outfits for the sauna. <laughs> And both of the shirts he got in Nash. Hey, so this is the workout room. We have these funky little weights over here. Honestly, this is- Oh, we should have brought towels. Oh, here we are. Sauna was not the most successful experience. I tried using these instead. Way harder than regular weights. And you're now probably having a fever. I'm well. Okay, update, I just spilled wine everywhere, but we are ready. So plan for the night, we're gonna go to the Eiffel Tower to take some photos because you have no photos in the dresses that we plan on wearing for the Eiffel Tower. And then we're gonna do some bar hopping.
We've had quite a night. <laughs> We changed into jeans in front of the Eiffel Tower and then we missed our train and then we got on the wrong one and tried to sprint home to the other one and he <laughs> so bad. <laughs> house go to Montmartre I think and if it's not raining too bad we're going to go to the Pantheon today so currently Opera House I'm wearing a corset bodysuit jeans today was a jeans kind of day Lily's got her little skirt bodysuit and skirt love and here we are in the opera and this is the spot where it's like the whole phantom of the opera is based off of which is so cool hour travel day. shop then headed back to the metro station we are in Montmartre now two things one maddie told us yesterday to hold on to your tickets if you are taking the metro just in case they scan it and this is the first time our entire trip that like we have gotten them scanned so just like keep that noted if you are traveling here just don't throw them away while you're actually going to ride them beware of the stairs beware of the stairs and i bought another book is that a horrible idea yeah, because it's raining. It's gonna be so cute here. I'm so excited. And the view is stunning. We wear lots of stairs and there's a giant line. So buy tickets before if you can. Oh, oh never mind. They're, it's free, but there's a massive line. We still got to see some blossoms while we were here. Another thing about the rain, you will be taken out by umbrellas <laughs> every 10 seconds. But I mean, this is a view and I can't complain. Street creep review. It's 
good. Totally worth it. <laughs> Dark gray. The short ones. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's going away. Okay, so we made it to the Pantheon. There's it's so rainy here. Our photos are just getting worse and worse, but it's so big. It's so cool. Like, this whole area is very, very, like, what's the word? Uh, but we also don't know what's going on over there. Right yeah, now. they're having like a little rally over there. Um, I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the word either. Like, very, like, European architecture. Literally, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Stunning. But I just can't think of it. Alright, so it didn't take us to a metro. I guess we know we bus. We are back from our little day out literally everywhere, I feel like. We did the Opera House this morning. And that was never really on our bucket list of things to do. That was kind of just thrown in there last minute because we were near the area. So we walked to the opera. There was no line. We got in super, super quick. Honestly, the inside was so cool. Like in Versailles, they have a room full of just chandeliers and they had that at the opera too. It was so cool. It was so big. It took us like an hour and a half to do that. And then we went to Montmartre and it was raining all day, but it really didn't matter because it was so beautiful. We got to put a lock at the Sacre Coeur, which was so pretty. It was honestly probably the prettiest area I feel like we've been in. Like the lookout spots were beautiful. There were so many cafes. I will say Sacre Coeur was very like tourist vibes. It had a ton of little gift shops and stuff. Didn't end up going inside because it was the longest line ever and honestly it was so foggy that I felt like if we got up we wouldn't be able to see what we wanted to see. So great. And then from there we went to the Pantheon and that was really cool. The architecture around that area is just stunning. We didn't really do any walking around that area. Going to our last dinner. We're gonna meet up with Maddie, the girl whose apartment we stayed at who we were with the other night. She's gluten free so we're gonna go to a like gluten free friendly like top rated Italian restaurant. For my outfit I cannot be wet and cold and anymore so i'm wearing the sweater i feel like it's very paris vibes i would never wear this at home and these black leather pants again because they're so warm and i was gonna wear a trench coat and a black dress but i just did not want to not be in my puffer so this is me talker i bought another book today i bought the phantom of the opera book which i just think it's so cool and then they also gave us little prints of the opera which oh, yeah. what, what were those? they're just little prints of the opera and so this is like a comic book almost for the phantom of the opera which is so cute and i can't wait to just look at everything i bought from this trip because i don't even remember what i've gotten i know there's a haul of stuff from versailles that i don't think i ever gave you guys which is literally i just bought a key necklace i bought a key necklace and a little sculpture thing which you'll see on my bookshelf when I get home, obviously. But yeah, we are going to take the metro right now and head out. It was Sunday, so all the stores were closed and I wanted to get a treat for when I came back from dinner. So I got peanut butter m &Ms. To a spot called Sue Missouri and they brought over free soup and bread to start with. Then shocker, I got a margarita pizza and we had wine. And then this is the last time I ever saw the Eiffel Tower before we headed home. So we're leaving now. We woke up. A little bit later than we wanted to, but we spent last night packing. The water did this to my hair again. <laughs> Don't want to leave. We ended up calling an Uber and quickly made espresso in our front lobby. We signed the hotel book and then we headed back home.